When someone you love is going through depression, it can be very challenging to learn how to support them. Depression, man, can make the most simplest task knock our loved ones off their block and they become overwhelmed, man. So we really shouldn't be surprised, right? When they become, they begin to isolate. We really shouldn't be surprised when they begin to withdraw. But however, with the right mindset and with the right approach, we can become that stability and that comfort that they need during these difficult times. Hi everyone, my name is Vernon Neal and I'm a life recovery coach. And on this channel right here, I share my experience, strength, and hope on how to deal with life on its own terms. So let's get to it. One. The first thing we must do is educate ourselves. We must educate ourselves on this disease, not so that we can sound real good, but so that we can learn how this thing and understand how this thing is affecting our loved ones. See, I don't want you to do what I did, bruh. I had this misconception of what depression was. I thought you can have the right attitude. I thought with the right encouragement, man, you can encourage your loved ones about this disease, bruh. It don't work like that, man. Don't do what I did. I already done for it. Get some information about this disease. Two, you must be a good listener. You must know how to listen to your loved ones in a way that a lot of people really don't know how to listen, man. And we call this thing active listening, man. We talk about, I'm not talking about listening with the ears, bruh. I'm not talking about listening to the words they say. I'm talking about listening to their body language, listening to things they're not saying. You have to learn how to listen with compassion. You have to learn how to listen with your heart. Three, encourage them. You must encourage your loved one to seek professional help, man. This one right here is very tricky, bruh, because it's all about the timing. You feel me? It's all about the timing, man. Don't try to encourage them when they are in an episode, man. You don't want to do that. Now you don't want to do that. You want to wait until they come up out of it and just send them a nice reminder, man, did they make that call. Four, we must help around the house, bruh. A lot of times our loved ones go through this depression episode just by the, the basic of them just being overwhelmed about the things that they believe they need to do. They, they, you know, they take an inventory. They look at this. I need to do that. I need to do that. And then they become overwhelmed. So we must help around the house, man. Clean up the, clean up the kitchen, man. You know what I mean? Work around the yard. Pick up some clothes. Wash. Do anything that you can to take that burden up off of them. Help around the house. Five. We must be patient, man. We must be patient with ourselves. We must be patient with our loved ones. But most importantly, we must be patient with the disease of depression. Yes, man. Reason why I say that, because depression, man, it's very patient. See, it'll, it'll come up off our loved ones and we'll think they cured, bruh. They going around and had an episode in a minute. We think they cured. Then out of nowhere, bam, it hit them. Now we all twisted and we try to force our will on them and try to get them up out of it and it doesn't work like that so number five when we're being patient we got to be patient with ourselves we have to be patient with our loved ones and most importantly we have to be patient with the disease of depression six six this is the one man this is the one you really need to get a hold on bro this one here is very critical man you must take care of yourself man you have to take care of yourself because, you know, being in a relationship or being around a loved one with depression, bruh, is very emotionally taxing, bruh. It can drain you, man. You can actually lose yourself, right? You don't want to do that. So make sure you're eating right. Make sure you're getting the right exercise. Make sure you're getting out the house and hanging with your boys, man. Make sure you have a life, man. You have to take care of yourself. Remember that depression is a serious disease, man, and our loved ones must get the proper help, man. I was speaking with a pastor in this next video who suffered from depression, and he even shared his experience, his strength, and his hope on how he deal with depression and even suicidal thoughts.